Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you for stopping by today. Today I wanted to do, finally get around to my episode about the perfect length skirt for everyone. No matter your age, more based on balance, the shape of your legs, and what you feel comfortable in. If that's at all interesting, I've got an actual demonstration that I filmed up in my foyer actually by my laundry room door. <laughs> Stick around, that's what we're talking about today. Really, in style, there are so many different skirt lengths and skirt lengths that are just always seem to be available in the stores, whether you're wearing something floor length, sundress, ankle length, something mid-calf, multiple areas right around your knee, mini. But I think once we reach a certain age, certainly I think 50 is a point where maybe modesty comes a little bit into play. I'm pretty happy with the way my legs are aging. They have a nice shape to them, but is the skin what it used to be? Absolutely not. Discoloration. Certainly going to put on self-tanner eventually here if I'm going to start wearing shorts and skirts out in public as opposed to jeans and leggings. But I think the things that I want to keep in mind as I choose a skirt length are the things I'm going to share with you. And those would be, number one, to be aware of the horizontal line that a skirt hem creates on your body. Wherever that horizontal line ends is where you're drawing attention. So I try to not do that, draw any horizontal lines across my body at the widest place. Therefore, the widest part of your thigh or your calf, depending on where that skirt or dress is hitting you, is probably not the ideal place. So you want it to hit at the more narrow part of your leg, your ankle, right at your knee, right above your knee. Because I think there's an illusion to that, that whatever is showing, you assume what continues beyond that point unseen matches what you see. <laughs> so that's a little way to trick the eye, I guess. The other thing I keep in mind is I'm not super tall. I'm 5'4", so I'm trying to create a longer line with my body. Therefore, I need to pay attention to the balance of the skirt, where it hits me, how much legs compared to how much body is showing. I'm very short-waisted, so I need to keep that in mind. If you're short-waisted and or have long legs and an average length torso, you probably want to take a look with balance in mind as well and see if it looks like your equal parts top and bottom if you're wearing a skirt and a top as opposed to all legs coming up to here and a very short torso that doesn't create the balance I think we're supposed to be aiming for so balance is another part of that equation the other thing especially so in a dress for me is that my hips are my narrow part of my body so I like things that have more like a drop waist that hit me tight across the hips because you assume that that is my narrow part. You don't assume that my waist is the same as my hips. So I try to create a line across there or to have it fitted at that point. I think if I had more of a hourglass figure, I would embrace the A-line, which for me makes me look out of balance. So an A-line skirt that's fitted through the hips and then flares outward, hitting you right above the knee is a flattering length for a lot of body types. And you should try with that to find the perfect length by watching my demonstration that's coming up in just a second to see where that would be most attractive for you if you're rocking an A-line. So much of this comes down to confidence and comfort as well. But beyond that, I mentioned balance. And I think where balance comes in is also where fit is key. I mentioned coming up in the next part of this episode that I have a dress that I'm going to be shortening to hit me at my knee. And I think, honestly, at the knee, right slightly above, slightly below, that little knee area is so universally flattering for most people. And that's also where a good seamstress comes in because I've had skirts that are A-line, but if they're a little bit too wide, wider than my hips, I need that taken in to make it fit well so that it looks like I'm not out of balance. Shop for the bargains, but leave a little space in what you spend for altering. If you want your clothes to look like they were custom made, that's a great little tip. And I'm hoping that this dress will turn out great once I take about four to six inches off of it. It'll look like it was made to hit me in all the right places. I think also when we hit 50 or so that modesty comes into play. We don't want 
to bend over and be worried about what's showing. So the comfort and modesty kind of tie together there, which is why somewhere right above, below, at the knee is so easy to wear. And I'm not saying to be afraid of wearing something a little bit shorter because certainly I do when I'm wearing flip-flops wear skirts that are the length of my shorts, Bermudas, not, you know, not a three inch inseam shorts, but more of a nine inch inseam short. I would wear a skirt at that length because it's super casual and I'm wearing it with a t-shirt and flip-flops. And in that environment, I feel I can go a little bit shorter. But also if I'm going to that length, I'm also very into wearing skorts and the type I choose are usually tennis skirts. I think t I don't play tennis often just for fun to knock a ball around every once in a while with a friend or my brother. But I think rocking that skirt is so easy to ride a bike or to be able to do something, run or be outside and bending, stretching, doing projects outside. So keep in mind that tennis skirt. I picked up a couple last year at TJ Maxx and got a heck of a lot of use out of them. And I think that length is perfectly acceptable. It's got shorts under it. So I feel if you have fit, if you have a nice fit, if you have balance, if you have comfort, then you can be confident. And there is a great length, multiple great lengths for a lot of people. And this coming up, this video here is the way that I found is the best way to nail down those very best lengths for you when wearing a skirt or a dress. I hope you enjoy it. I have this little trick. It's usually done in front of a mirror, but we will do the best. I may have to bend over, hunch over to see what it looks like. But the trick is this. This should be quick because I'm chilly. There's an open door here and it's really cold today for the middle of June. Um, you start down at the length, the lowest length, and obviously that's an attractive look on most people, right at your ankle. Ankle length is nice. Continue coming up, that still works. If I were wearing a dress, I feel that's still an attractive place to hit my legs. However, once we come up past the thinnest part of my leg here into the mid of my calf, for me, that is not a length I would wear. In fact, I recently bought a dress that is this length and I'm going to have it shortened and I will show you the length to which I am shortening it. So we continue to come up and I feel that when it hits, the part of my leg where it starts, my calf starts to come back in towards my knee and it's not the widest part of my calf, that's a length that I truly like in a skirt. Let me see if I'm there here, hold on. Right about there, I suppose, would be where I'm talking about. That's where I truly like my skirt lengths to be there. I like it a little bit higher, right under the knee. That feels good to me. Also, I think mid-knee is an attractive length for most people. And then it starts to get trickier for those of us over 50, but it's not, we're not heading into dangerous territory, just to, to be aware. And above my knee, I would still wear things that are slightly above my knee at that point. Actually, I would still wear things, let's see here. Then we come up a little higher and still kind of doable for me. I come to this point. This is the length that most of my skirts would hit at. Um, just wearing cotton, these are just cotton, black cotton skirts that I kick around in. Not always in heels, I wear this as if it were shorts with a pair of flat sandals. That's kind of often what you'd see me wearing instead of slipping into a pair of shorts. So I feel very comfortable there. And then as we get a little bit higher, we get to a wider part of my legs. We're starting to get into uncomfortable territory for me unless I'm super casual. And you get to a point here where you start to see this part of my leg, this part where your leg goes like that, and then it comes narrow, and I don't ever want to see that part of my leg. You gotta play the game, you gotta do the, the drill here to see the shape of your legs. That's how it works for me. I think everybody's legs are shaped a little bit differently, but that would definitely be too short for me because it shows that part of my legs right there. So it's all about working your way up with the skirt in a mirror and checking out where those points where it seems to be, oh yeah, that looks nice. And then you know those are the length skirts or dresses that you are going to find most appealing on your legs and might have the, a very nice balance for your body. And of course the balance changes if I were wearing flats, 
as you can probably see, once I take the shoes off, this length looks a little bit different even on me wearing flip-flops or sandals. This length where it may have seemed a little bit shorter with heels on, now it becomes perfectly acceptable. So a little trick that hopefully can help you figure out what you feel most comfortable in and what you feel is most attractive on your body. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give the episode a thumbs up. Subscribe while you're down there so we can hang out again sometime. I appreciate you being here as I always do. Thank you so much. I will look forward to next time. And until then, have a good one.